Lionel Higgins is the gay black man I have been waiting for. Dear White People gave us a character who isn't solely defined by being black or gay, he's just Lionel. The character isn't boxed into the binary society views black men in. He doesn't need to be hyper-masculine, yet he doesn't need to be effeminate either. LGBTQ plus representation has come so far, especially in popular TV shows, but when it comes to black male queerness, it's often settled neatly into categories, leaving little room for the gray that is Lionel. Let's do this. Characters like Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt's Titus Andromedon or Lafayette Reynolds from True Blood are enjoyable personalities to watch on screen. Tip your waitress. They show a side of black men that bucks all the traditional expectations of masculinity. Titus doesn't have to be angry or aggressive in his New York life. He abandoned trying to conform to a heteronormative lifestyle and went to live his truth in the Big Apple. Lafayette doesn't have to be closeted in his small town with racist homophobes and vampires. Bitch, you come in my house, you gonna eat my food the way I fucking make it! He holds his own and is able to be unapologetically gay. And while both these narratives are important, this isn't the only kind of story for a gay black man in today's world. Representing the other side of the spectrum is Omar from The Wire. The character navigates being a gay black man in a community with a narrow view of what makes a man a man. It's something the Oscar winning Moonlight echoes in a beautiful symphonic piece of film with the character of Chiron. <laughs> He spends most of his life closeted and avoiding relationships, but he isn't the typical reflection of a queer black man that we've seen before. He's gay and masculine at the same time, but being both seem to be a dual struggle for him because he doesn't fit into the neat little boxes society has made for those archetypes. And like Omar, both have a tender, soft side that's a struggle for them to express openly. They yearn strongly to be with another man, but fear and societal pressure keep them from something beautiful. You gonna tell him why the other boys kick his ass all the time? Huh? But this doesn't have to be the sole way we see the life experiences of gay black men either. As popular TV portrays more inclusive stories, I believe it's vital that we don't forget about the ones who struggle with the label. In Dear White People, Lionel struggles and is even made uneasy by someone demanding he find a label. I really don't subscribe to those kinds of labels. Trust me, find your label. And the show's second season illustrates this perfectly. It's a lonely feeling when you're juxtaposed against subsections of your own culture and don't see yourself fully reflected back. Lionel isn't a Titus, but he isn't an Omar either. And in the context of the show, he's not a literati gay, a theater gay, or even an ultra woke black gay. He's a little of this and a bit of that, but ultimately he's none of the above. You're an original, man. However, this doesn't mean people like Lionel should be a lost cause or too nuanced to represent. How do you not know this? These are your people. Fluid characters, fluid people should have the spotlight too. 